Ignite was an early pioneer in bringing secure collaboration to the cloud. We continue to innovate around that groundbreaking file system. However, today's threat landscape has reached a point where standalone content management systems, no matter how robust they are, are just not enough. There's too much content in too many places, moving too fast and being handled by too many people, posing too many risks to keep managing content in the same old ways as before. That's why, for the past few years, Ignite has been innovating around new approaches to content security and risk governance, built around the three foundational principles you just heard, control simplicity, collective responsibility, and defense in concert. Now we'll go to three of Ignite's product visionaries to learn more about some exciting new developments in each area. First up, Ignite co-founder Rajesh Ram. Thank you, David. Before discussing the idea of controlled simplicity, I'd like to set the stage by discussing the significant complexity companies deal with in managing and protecting content. First and foremost, companies deal with considerable sprawl with content stored and accessed across many formal repositories such as file servers, SharePoint, Google Drive, etc. Furthermore, content ends up in many incidental repositories such as email, Slack, Teams, etc. Email was never designed to store files, yet there's a plethora of attachments stored in inboxes. This sprawl leads to a lack of visibility around where content is, how it's used, and what risk it poses. To complicate this picture, legacy tools to manage content security and governance were built with security engineers in mind. Acronyms such as DRM, or DLP, or DAG require complex tools to be configured and integrated, resulting in high TCO, total cost of ownership, and errors in configuration. The outcome? A huge imbalance between content risk and value. Companies spend a lot of time and money to make these tools work or simply give up. This is why one of the key design principles at Ignite has been controlled simplicity. You can control content risk in a simple fashion. The product does the heavy lifting. You can configure and see value in hours or days, not months or years. For those of you who are familiar with Ignite's platform, we deliver unified visibility through a single pane of glass over all the content stored across your repositories, be they incidental ones like email or formal ones that are on-prem or in public clouds and line of business SaaS applications. The product then delivers risk management recommendations that are as easy to act on, like liking something in your LinkedIn feed. Finally, automated safeguards work behind the scenes to stop the spread of ransomware and put a stop to suspicious activities by malicious insiders. That continued theme of controlled simplicity leads to our key announcements today. The first one is centered around ransomware defense and the second around ransomware recovery. Here comes the first one. I am really excited to announce capabilities that will enable all of our customers to more effectively battle ransomware by including ransomware defense in every one of our platform plans. So what exactly does that entail? Ransomware defense, which we consider essential for every customer, will detect over 2,000 ransomware signatures, actively block attacks with these signatures by immediately suspending the infected endpoints and automatically alert the admin upon the detection of an offending endpoint. Ignite already versions all your files, which allows your users to quickly pull older versions and continue working, even if a brand new signature makes its way through. Importantly, we also crowdsource new signatures every day thanks to a team of security engineers. This means that as ransomware evolves, our protections evolve as well. To reiterate, we are announcing ransomware defense as standard capability in every Ignite platform plan, given how pervasive this problem has become. Furthermore, our product team continues to build more advanced technologies for detecting ransomware, like behavior-based detection methods, 
driven by our embedded machine learning engine. With behavior-based detection, Ignite's machine learning engine observes the behavior of each individual user and establishes a normal routine. For instance, which types of files are accessed? How often are they accessed? And when do they get accessed? Ignite starts with a configured baseline, but over time, learns the usage behavior. The system can then identify any abnormal behavior that might signal a probable ransomware attack. For instance, someone copying all the files or an increase in file entropy, and that might indicate files are being encrypted. Today, the behavior-based detection is available in our advanced offerings. However, we recognize that detection is only a part of the solution. There is no such thing as 100% foolproof detection. Therefore, our second big announcement today is around ransomware recovery. Ransomware recovery, available in our advanced offerings, is built around the idea of file system snapshots. This allows an administrator to look back in time at previous file snapshots to locate the point at which ransomware infected a file. This recovery capability lets an administrator pull up the snapshot, inspect folders and files, and discover that first point of attack. Then he or she can choose the files and folders to be restored back to that point. Entire folder structures and files can be restored with just a single click. We look forward to the adoption of these new capabilities and trust that they will continue to deliver on the theme of control simplicity. As David said, we believe the days of pure play file sharing or collaboration are behind us. And any solution that enhances collaboration without reducing content risk puts your company at a disadvantage. It is my pleasure to introduce Ramin Farisat, our Chief Product Officer, to speak about our second governance innovation theme, Collective Responsibility. Thank you, Rajesh. As Rajesh mentioned, I'm going to talk to you about a principle we call collective responsibility. In an age where content is absolutely critical to business operations, maintaining the integrity and confidentiality of the data needs to be an organizational-wide initiative. Users who own and create a data know their data best, as they interact with it the most. Therefore, we believe that each user must be empowered with the right intelligence to make responsible decisions about what can be shared and with whom. They need the right tools to do their jobs securely without slowing down their productivity. Finally, built-in safeguards need to be in place to add a layer of security when those users and decision makers miss something. According to a very recent report by KPMG, 62% of security leaders believe that their organizations should be doing more to improve their existing data protection measures. But with the growing number of data breaches and security threats, the security field is constantly evolving. And I'm sure some of you may be asking yourself, how can I keep up with all these technologies? SASE, XDR, SD-WAN, DevSecOps, Bot Security, et cetera. So what can you do? Can you follow the zero trust model and lock down access to everything? While there are benefits to zero trust, such as strong multi-factor user authentication, and we strongly advocate them, there are also challenges that you need to deal with. For example, how would you deal with external users, such as your partners, contractors, or your customers? How about all the different kinds of devices that your employees may be using? These days, many of them work from home, and they bring their own devices. How about the older or legacy applications that have no concept of privileged access? And how do you deal with the ongoing and constant administration needs as people move to different roles your company evolves, or locations and access controls change. The truth is, data risk management is too critical to only be the responsibility of the central IT department. There is a need to democratize access to data governance and protection control and remove the sole responsibility off the shoulders of centralized IT team. So what can you do about this today? To help with this, we started by identifying or classifying the content and giving you control to all your content across multiple sources. Now we're building the first platform where everyone in your entire company can work together to protect high-value data and mitigate financial and reputational risks. 
We already have some of these capabilities available. For example, we have smart controls at the data ingest when sharing files like email validated link sharing and preview only links, which prevent recipients from downloading a file, printing, or copy and pasting its content. We have customizable dashboards for all data stewards in your organization, not just IT admins. And you also have the ability to assign admin capabilities to different business leaders, project owners, and other roles outside of IT. This enables departments that routinely handle the most sensitive data, like HR, finance, and legal, to be the first line of defense in data protection. But what is new, and I'm excited to announce today, is new innovation that bring governance and data protection closer into the hands of the end user, applying safeguards at the point where a user shares and collaborates on a file. You may already know of Ignite's content safeguards, which allows you to set up policies and protect sensitive data leaks. Content safeguards is available in our enterprise plan. We have now added some important new capabilities to content safeguard that include dynamic file sharing restrictions with user warnings. You can now restrict files based on content classification policy matches, risk scores, or location. User warnings help educate users by warning them with an alert rather than preventing them from sharing only when we detect that the user is about to share a file that contains sensitive data. The benefit of the warning is that it avoids interruption to the user workflow, and it also reinforces that security and governance is everyone's responsibility. We have also improved our secure file delivery to support both Windows and Mac, giving a user the ability to send an encrypted file that remains secure and encrypted and have it be automatically decrypted only once the intended recipient opens the file. We have also added digital watermarking as part of our virtual data room package. This allows your users to automatically watermark a file when downloading to discourage distribution of sensitive information. This collection of new capabilities show our continued efforts towards delegating responsibility to the end user for governing data access. Now let me next introduce Jeff Sizemore, Ignite's Chief Governance Officer, to speak about our third governance innovation team, Defense in Concert. Thanks, Shermin. Often companies pursue a strategy of layered defense controls in hopes that they avoid potential data vulnerabilities. However, that approach only works effectively for very large, mature, well-managed, and well-funded enterprises. As we all know, complex systems require an army of highly specialized resources, infrastructure, and processes, all of which can give you a false sense of security and are likely to fail with the smallest misconfiguration or overload patch. Recent reports indicate that, the, that misconfiguration is the number one root cause of cloud-based file breaches this year, and Microsoft's recent exposure of financial records with their own Power BI tool with their own administrators is just one example. To detect and respond to today's governance challenges, you need solutions that replace disparate technologies and give you a comprehensive view of data privacy across your entire ecosystem. Effective solutions also need to incorporate required content safeguards integrate with industry-leading SIM solutions such as Splunk and Sumo Logic, as well as others, and apply intelligence to your company's management of valuable data in a simple, safe, and strategic manner. Today, we are pleased to announce two strategic partnerships that extends our vision to additional data sets. The first is an expanded integration with Google. I'm pleased to announce that Ignite now offers full governance support for Google S3 Cloud Storage and Google Workspace, which includes G Drive, Gmail, and Google Docs. This means that users can continue using the things that they've known about Google and they love about Google and the tools that are available while being governed and secured by Ignite and meeting enterprise and privacy standards. As part of Ignite's governance strategy, we believe that all data needs to be governed. Data is data. If it's email, if it is on a laptop, if it is in uh, an unstructured file repository, all of this data it needs to be governed. There is no request for structured data or unstructured for privacy, it's data. I need to know where, the, where my information is in all of your data sets. Through our partnership with Trio, Ignite now offers fully automated privacy for structured and unstructured data across popular ecosystems like Salesforce, enterprise databases, and marketing repositories with massive amounts of PII built in. Soon we'll be offering governance for structured content as well. To sum it up, Ignite empowers you to govern structured and unstructured data in a unified fashion with a unified tool across all of your repositories 
by providing best of breed enterprise data governance and easy to use platform, controlled sharing that maximizes productivity while reducing risks and costs. And lastly, end-to-end privacy support for today and in the future, from a customer's initial request from a website all the way through the automation and pulling that data through these multiple repositories, bringing it back for review and automation and deletion and completing that request from end to end so that the customers that we deal with today and for you guys, you don't have to think about privacy in the future. We're, we're providing a full uh, plan and strategy to help you think about this moving forward.